We are Americans in every single way but one, which is on paper. Born in Pakistan, Hana Naveed's parents brought her to live in the U.S. when she was just a child. Her sister needed better medical care. Hana went on to become a registered nurse and then completed law school. One of nearly three million so-called dreamers living here almost her entire life, she's eager to become a U.S. citizen. The fact that we don't have a pathway to citizenship right now um, is unconscionable. Right, um, undocumented immigrants pay taxes. They contribute to the economy and deserve the uh, to des and deserve that citizenship or the pathway to citizenship. Congress this week is taking up two bills in the Democratic-controlled House of Representatives. One addresses farm workers. The other, the legal status of dreamers, known as the Dream and Promise Act. It would provide a pathway to citizenship for most, if not all, of the so-called dreamers. President Trump tried to rescind the legal status of dreamers granted by the Obama administration but lost in court. President Biden used an executive order to return temporary legal status to dreamers, but only Congress can give dreamers permanent legal status. Teresa Brown is with the Bipartisan Policy Center in Washington. What we're seeing, though, is a concerted push, at the very least, to address the status of the Dreamers in Congress. The bills may do better in the House than the Senate. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, along with some other Republicans, want to delay taking up the bills impacting Dreamers until the Biden administration does more to address the border crisis. You look in the eyes of these children, they came unaccompanied. More than 4,000 unaccompanied minors are straining the U.S. immigration system. Immigration reform is likely to be a test for the Biden administration, one that has daunted many prior administrations. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.